Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an update on my boobs. This is something that I get asked all the time about. This is a video that you guys have requested a lot and I'm guessing this will probably be my last update because I feel like the way they feel now, things aren't gonna change too much. So I'm currently seven weeks post-op while I'm filming this video and yeah, things have changed a lot. I literally feel like my boobs are just a part of me now. I heard a lot of people saying when they got their boobs done that their boobs never ever really felt like they were a part of them. And I don't know if it's for me personally because I've breastfed both my babies that I'm used to having like that engorgement feeling. Um, but yeah, they literally just feel like they're a part of me. The only time sometimes I'm like, ooh, and feel a bit weird is if I don't have a bra on and I lean forward. That's pretty much the only time that sometimes I get a bit like of that feeling, but otherwise they just literally feel like they're a part of me. So I asked you guys to ask any questions that you had over my Instagram as well. So I'll go through and read some of those. So again, I'm just really covering all of the basics. So I've been asked size, which was 375 cc's. I went teardrop shape, moderate profile. My height is 160 centimeters. That's also something that I get asked a lot. And essentials for recovery. Oh, just Netflix. I also, something that I had was a recliner that I slept in like the first week and I feel like that was really really helpful um, I didn't have to worry about Kurt getting in and out of bed and me trying to get up and down from bed I would definitely recommend if you've got a recliner or like a nursing chair to sleep in that I personally found it way more comfortable than even trying to sleep in bed for the first week um, I definitely recommend to get like one of those big u-shaped pillows I've literally been sleeping with one of those like two pillows or an extra pillow than usual until about a week ago and had used that just to keep me upright a bit so yeah I definitely recommend to get one of those and yeah just make sure that you have a whole bunch of movies and TV series to binge watch because the first week you're pretty quiet. Are you regretting not getting the lift or are they what you imagined? No, I don't regret not getting the lift at the moment. I know that in five or 10 years time, that could change a bit. Um, I don't feel like the surgeon would have offered to not get it if he thought there was a chance that I'd be disappointed. He did say to me, you know, in five years time or something like that, you might need to come in and get one. So I always knew that, but I feel like he wouldn't have um, like said to me, oh, you'll be okay without it unless he really, really truly thought that. And I feel like they're totally fine. Like I can't even really imagine them with a lift. I feel like they would look too high um, because the way he's done them, they just look really natural. I'm so happy with them. I'm so happy with the shape and the style and everything that I went for my body. I just feel like they fit them really well. So yeah, I'm definitely not disappointed that I didn't get the lift as of yet. It might be something that I'd get in the future. So say if we do have another baby or something down the track, I reckon once I've go in and need to get them like redone my boobs, I'd probably get a lift then if I need one. But like I said, at the moment, it's definitely not something that's on the agenda. Would you recommend somebody get their boobs done before or after kids? Definitely after. Um, if I like, I still don't hundred percent know if I'm going to have any more kids. And that's the only reason why I got them done. If I was like hundred percent certain I'm having another baby in a year or two years, I would definitely wait, which is exactly what I did. I actually wanted to get my boobs done after I had Miller, but I knew that I definitely wanted one more baby. And I knew that I wanted them like in the near future. So that's why I waited. And I'm so glad that I waited because it just takes such a toll on your boobs breastfeeding. And once you get your boobs looking good, you want them to stay that way. You don't want them to shift and change. So yeah, I definitely recommend to wait until after you have kids especially if you're planning to have them soon has your bruising on your boobs completely gone yeah it actually has they are healing so well the bruising's fully gone and um, the scarring is actually like tiny now as well so I still keep like the silicon tape on them they recommend to do that for the first few months and I'm just gonna do it for as long as I can or until I kind of get over it they say 8 to 12 weeks and um, I'm actually getting closer to eight weeks now. So, but I think I'll just continue doing it until 12 weeks because it's not hurting anything. It's just an extra two seconds out of my day to whack the tape on and it helps flatten the scar and keep it looking really nice and neat. So what I'll do is I'll chuck my bikini top on and I'll show you guys what they look like now. So guys, this is the exact same bikini top that I initially wore. And as you can see, there's no bruising at all anymore. They feel fine. They don't hurt or anything like that. They're definitely like movable now. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy with them. I definitely don't feel like I needed a lift. They don't sag at all anymore. They're actually a lot less saggy than what they were before I got them. Um, so yeah, I feel like the surgeon did such an incredible job. I'm so happy with them. So yeah, I'm so happy with them. I have absolutely no regrets. I just thought that I'd do a quick little update for you guys, let you know how it's all traveling. So many of you guys were intrigued to see how it was all going. And yeah, it's definitely helped boost my confidence. It's just, it's definitely been something that I spent so much time thinking about and researching, and I'm so glad that I did it for myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.